right, so today we actually have a new member on the server. Berkeley has joined. His username is hsolo33. Welcome, Berkeley. I am actually in Ali's place right now because Berkeley doesn't know it, but I'm about to play a prank to kind of welcome him to the server. Um, so what I'm going to do is basically head over to the, the little area that Berkeley has set up to kind of get started. And uh, I'm going to do something fun with this chess. Uh, Mutant Taco was just online earlier and uh, he had to log off, but he gave me a really good idea. So I'm going to follow through with it. Um, so give me a second and I will join you up over at Berkeley's place. I've got some visibility potions. I've got some obsidian. Yeah, we're, we're going to have some fun. So all in good fun. And uh, I have a pretty cool scheme planned out for when it's all said and done. So we will see you over at Berkeley's place. All right, I am invisible, I'm approaching Berkeley's location. Looks like he's got a little hut that looks like a creeper hole. Oh, I see. He's got a little mining area over there. Just gonna see what we can do here. Mess around with him. See where he's at first of all. Well, he's got okay. I gotta be careful. I don't want to walk on the gravel. Even the grass is pretty. Might be easier to sneak once I get closer. Oh, there I see his name tag. Okay. All right. So I'm approaching Berkeley's place right here. Just want to let you guys know what I have in store. Um, so Mutant Taco came up with the idea to encase all of his chests in obsidian. And this is going to be particularly tough for him because he just started on the server. He has no diamonds, no way to get diamond pickaxe or anything. Uh, so I'm going to see if he has a good amount of items in his chest. And if so, probably put some obsidian around them all. I'm trying to do it while he's not noticing because... Actually, I don't know if he has very many chests, but he may just have one chest. So we'll see. Um, but whatever he does, I'm going I'm to have a case of obsidian. And I have a little ransom note to go along with it. I'll read that here. Dear H Solo 33, your items in these chests have been locked down by the Jingle 87 Mining Company, Pranks Division LLC. If you want to see your precious items again, deliver the sum of 64 flowers, variety of your choosing, to the Jingle 87 Mining Company Cold Mountain Springs Branch Office Vault. There will be an unmarked chest in the ore storage room within the vault. Place your flowers there if you ever want to see your precious items again. Mwahaha. The Jingle 87 Mining Company, Pranks Division LLC. P.S. There may be a reward for your troubles hidden within your chests once you unlock them. So, because he just started out on the server, I don't want to be too harsh on the guy, so I am going to give him a reward for this. I'm going to put this diamond block in there as well. So, give him some hassle for this little prank that I play on him. Alright, I'm going to get a little bit closer, see what I can find out. And I am still invisible. Got about five minutes left. Oh, he does have one chest. That's good. Let's see. Where is that guy? Should I encase his... I might encase his uh, oven as well. Where is he? Oh, there's... Okay, is he down below somewhere? He might be down there. That's going to be really noisy if I get on the ladder. Okay. I don't see his name tag. He's got to be pretty deep. Let's see here. Well, unless he's down there. Let's take a look at this. Let's see what we got down here. I don't see his name tag anywhere. Gotta find this guy. Hmm. Huh. Okay. 
Well, let's try to hop back up. I wish he had more than one chest, because I brought a lot of obsidian. That's okay. He just started yesterday, so he is just getting started out here. I kind of feel bad playing this prank, but again, I, I have a good reward for him. Where is this guy? Let me go check out his other place. Still not down there. Okay, let's see what he's got over here. This other little entrance. Try to walk on the grass because I think it's the quietest. Even though I don't think he's nearby me, I don't want him to get suspicious and hear walking noises. <laughs> I did just tell him that I was working on something in the Mesa, which is halfway true. I'm on my way there to do that. I'm just doing this first. So he shouldn't be expecting that I would be around here. Do I dare go down and risk the ladder noise? I don't think he's down here. I think he's over at the other one. Alright, well, since he seems to be pretty far away, I'm going to go ahead and do the obsidian. How much? Oh, i got a minute and a half left. i got to watch my invisibility time. Yeah, he's not here. Oh, he's got iron in the furnace. That would be so mean. If I encase that. I think I'm going to have to. Gotta plant this over here first. I think I need to dig out. Okay, 30 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and drink my next invisibility potion. Just make sure I don't see him. This will give me eight minutes. Oh, crap. He's right over there. He is right there. I'm about to go visible, and he's right over there. Run away! <laughs> oh, I want to get far enough away that he won't hear me drinking. Okay, this should be good. Well, I definitely am glad I didn't start to put the obsidian there. Oh, perfect timing. There we go. Alright, I got another eight minutes, then I have one more potion after that. I gotta get him to go down so I can encase his stuff. But the thing is, if I start trolling him, like playing around with water buckets or something, which I did bring along just in case I could come up with a cool, fun way to mess with him. If I start doing that, though, he's gonna He's going to see it. He's going to know it's me, and he's going to be suspicious. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he has no idea I'm right next to him. Okay. Oh crap. He's planting trees by me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Seriously, dude? <laughs> wow, it's almost like he knew I was there, but he totally doesn't. Oh, and the sun's going down. He doesn't have a bed, I don't think. Oh, this is not going to work. Oh, I just got to wait. I got to wait until he goes down to his mine. I'm going to need to go over here and go to bed, though, because he doesn't know I'm here, and he's been relying on me to go to bed lately. I'm plop down out of the way. Oh, perfect. Alright, so this is the inside of Berkeley's chest that I've just encased in obsidian, or am about to finish off, and I've put a block of diamond in here for him. <laughs> kind of as a, sorry man, thanks for being a good sport <laughs> about this. 
And then I have my ransom note up here, which I showed you earlier. So, it's got everything encased in here. Crafting table, furnace, and then over here is another crafting table in case I'm sitting in from all sides. And then this thing is double dirt, double layer of dirt. When he spawns, he's going to see it. And read the ransom note, realize he has to get collect uh, 64 flowers, full stack, any kind and deliver them to the Jingle 87 Mining Company, Cold Mountain Springs Branch Office, the vault there. You'll have to know the combination for the vault, of course, in order to get in, which was shown in one of my earlier videos, so he should be able to figure that out. Um, but yeah, we will see what happens when Berkeley logs on and uh, how this plays out. So until then, 